Atelectasis is caused by incomplete expansion of the lung. When the whole lung lobe is affected, this is often termed a loper collapse. There are a few different mechanisms that can cause atelectasis, but for loper collapse, the most common cause is obstructive. Obstructive etiology is usually a aspirated foreign body, mucus plug or malignancy, which causes airway obstruction. This then limits the ventilation of the affected lung lobe, and the gas left within the lobe is then reabsorbed, which ultimately leads to a loper collapse. The lungs consist of five different lung lobes. Superior lobes on both sides, inferior lobes on both sides, and then the lobus medius on the right side. Each of these will show a pattern on x-ray when collapsed. But remember, all of these will have indirect signs of volume loss. Let's start with the right upper lobe. When collapsed, it will obscure the right superior mediastinal contour and the horizontal fissure will be elevated. There may be a triangular opacity extending from the diaphragm, the so-called eoxtrophenic peak. As with any lobar collapse, there is a sign of volume loss, such as elevated diaphragm. Occasionally, you may also see the S sign of golden, where the minor fissure forms a reverse S configuration. This should raise your suspicion of a centrally obstructing mass. With the left upper lobe collapse, the lobe will be displaced anterior and superior towards the chest wall. This often gives a hazy appearance from the left hilum on the frontal radiograph, but it's easier to appreciate this on the lateral view. The oxtrophenic peak may also be seen as well as the loft sequel sign where the left lower lobe compensates for this collapse with hyperexpansion and extends between the aortic arch and the left upper lobe, giving a circle-shaped lucency. The middle lobe collapse is probably the trickiest one, especially if you don't have a lateral view. Middle lobe collapse moves towards the heart and can be seen as a subtle opacification which obscures the right heart border. The horizontal fissure is often not visualized as it rotates inferiorly and is no longer in line with the x-ray beam. On the lateral view, you can more easily appreciate the collapsed lobe. Right and left lower lobe collapse appear in a similar fashion. This can be seen as a triangular opacity in the lower lung obscuring the diaphragm, but the heart porters are usually visible. The lower lobe will be seen dorsally on the lateral view, and the hilum is often displaced inferiorly, and as always, there will be other indirect signs of volume loss. 